do you want to know the consequences of corruption? Then Indonesia, etc. by Elizabeth Pisani is a book for you. Indonesia is composed of various islands and archipelago. Collectively, they are a very diverse community, diverse ethnicities, religions, and languages. The archipelago has very little common culture. Attempts at creating a national identity yielded little. Even decades after Indonesia became a sovereign state, some regions referred to their local region as the political entity rather than the state. Even with the diverse people, they are considered very kind but also corrupt. The region was a trading hub for various empires and colonized for their resources such as spices. The colonizers did not invent exploitation in the islands as the various local leaders had been exploiting their populations before they were colonized. The colonizers just tapped into the corrupt systems and made them more efficient. But in the 1940s, Indonesia declared their independence, forming a sovereign state through violent means. Violence that continued after gaining sovereignty to keep the people together. Violence had become routine along with corruption, seeking unity through finding a common enemy. Corruption was very problematic but provided for more stable investments. Even with the violence, corruption, and political repressions, people's lives seemed to improve. Mob violence and justice was a common occurrence but the law matured over time, as well as the culture becoming market-oriented. The book is part history, part memoir, showcasing the diverse cultural experiences. Some caveats for the book includes that the organizational structure had mixed results, sometimes getting lost in the local and personal experiences without explaining how everything fits together. The memoir details can distract from the historic understanding. Other times, the local experiences facilitate an understanding of the improbable nation. Till the next review.